This is the stylish new Toyota Verso, and it's been given a host of upgrades as it battles with the Vauxhall Zafira and Ford C-Max to win over mums and dads with growing families. Outside, it's been given a new look up front with Toyota's keen look design language, which debuted on the Iris hatchback. And while the body of the Verso is the same as before, the new sharper nose works really well with the existing design. The update sees new door mirrors and tail lamp clusters, as well as new bumpers at the front and rear as well. There are three new model grades, an entry level active and a flagship Excel with this car, the Icon, expected to be the most popular. It comes with 16 inch alloy wheels, reverse parking camera and DAB radio, all as standard equipment. There's just as much space as before because the body hasn't changed. That means 1,696 litres with all the seats folded down, which is a little shy of the Zafira. But what's clever is the Toyota Easy Flat system, which makes putting the seats up and down really easy. Now, while the Verso is all about practicality, Toyota have worked hard to make it both quieter inside as well as better to drive. So the things that they've done to make it better are a new steering calibration, so it's electric power steering. So the steering's been made a little bit sharper and more responsive, so it should be a little bit easier to position on the road and perhaps a little bit easier to park as well. We've also got the revised suspension, which is firmer than before, but it's by no means firm. So it's still very soft and supple over bumps and it's comfortable whether you're sitting in the front or in the back. Now the two litre diesel that we're driving right now has more torque than before at lower revs, which again makes it easier out of corners and gives you better in-gear acceleration. So when you're pulling out to overtake someone or just taking off in general, it's a little bit easier to drive again. There's also better fuel consumption, which is helped by changes to the diesel as well as better aerodynamics. So overall, it's cheaper to run and easier to drive. The Verso is a much better looking car than before and it's cheaper to run and has class leading company car tact and residuals. Despite slow sales, it really is one of Toyota's standouts and if you're after a well built, feature packed MPV, the Verso has to be on your list.